Hello and welcome to Eco Farm. This is episode 13. In this episode, we're going to be planting our new fields that we've created. We'll also plant the corn cornfield that we harvested in the last episode. I think we'll just direct drill that. And uh, yeah, we're going to plant maize in all of the all of the fields so that we can become self-sufficient on feed for the chickens and it, and if there's any left over we will be able to put that into the into the mill for our flower production and uh, of course as a byproduct food for our pigs once we've finished uh, planting, we'll have to manure and then roll the fields as well. We'll show you the manuring part and I think it might get a little bit dark by the time we get to the rolling, but we will need to roll before we, before we uh, go to sleep tonight, let's put it that way. But uh, yeah, we'll just see how far we get. So this is uh, the last field that we ploughed, the long, th thin, narrow one. Just stay with the planting at regular time, at normal time, speed, for a little while, just to give you a feel for it. And then we'll go on to a bit of a time lapse and get it all neatly sorted out for you. So the, uh, the land is a little bit steep towards the top end of these fields. Not too bad. Pretty impressed that the Holyman has been able to to handle it really. Given the fact that it's uh, what's it, 132 horsepower, somewhere around there. In the event, we're into, into the time lapse and we'll get back to you once it's done. Enjoy it. Cherry. Well, I was going to say cherry. See you later. refill with a bit of uh, seed that we had left and we've just popped down to the store to pick up the rest or to fill up the cedar make sure that we've got enough to finish off these fields I'm sure we will have it's gone a bit too far get that all loaded up yeah, it's a pretty run-of-the-mill episode this it's all about the planting but um, in this series I'm trying to show pretty much everything that we're doing just so that uh, we're keeping ourselves honest in doing the the eco 
or following the eco principles that we've set for ourselves. Right, time to head on, head on back. Just uh, added the last, the, well, the remnants of the bag of seed onto the onto the cedar. Hopefully, it'll st stay on there as we travel back to the farm. It did the last time I did this little trick. Didn't have too much of a problem with it. Right, get on back to the farm and get on planting. Let's see you later. Well, we'll see you back at the farm. Well, here we are back at the farm. We're just going to drop off this bag of seed into the shed. And then we'll head on back up to the... I think we're on the second field at the moment. Go and get that finished off. And then get the rest of the seeding. I don't think we'll need any more seed. I think this should do the job. Yeah, it's a bit of a mundane task. I don't know whether I'll be showing it in this detail in the future but I think certainly in the beginning of a series like this it's good to let people know that you are not taking any shortcuts just got this little triangle to finish off here and we'll get onto the next field All looking okay, I think. It's looking like I've forgotten to lime. Oh dear. In any case, we're planting again. I don't normally like to lime after I've planted. Shouldn't do any harm, but I'm already going to be fertilizing after I've planted, so. I'd rather fertilize than lime again. In my mind I was convinced that I had limed somewhere along the line. Obviously not. Not gonna worry too much about it at this point in time. I'll check it up later. It's probably going to drop our yield by I suppose about 2%, which is not good, but mistakes are made and one has to pay for them in one way or another. This feels a little bit steep at the top here, but I'm pretty pleased with the way the Holyman is handling it with the implements that we have. You can feel this uh, flower dust push it a little bit. Sometimes it slides a touch, not much. But all in all, it's doing its job. It's doing it well. Yeah, so we we in October, so it's probably going to go through fairly quiet couple of months once this is job once this is job <laughs> once this job is done <laughs> um, as we go through the winter months we'll obviously continue looking after the pigs our greenhouses will function we may have enough money to put one more greenhouse in before winter let's have a look and see what our productions bring us in November and I think we'll uh, try and get another big greenhouse in. Can't remember how much they cost. I don't think we've got too much of a credit line left with the bank. We can check that up. They may have reassessed. Well, that's that field done. We head on to the next field now. 
and we'll go back onto the time lapse as we finish off all the all the planting. We'll see you once it's done. Right, so as you can see, we are direct seeding the field that we had the maize in, or the corn, just busy finishing that off, and then pretty much all the planting is done. Right, time to fertilize. We've uh, leased the farm tech fertilizer. Uh, a max spreader, fertilizer spreader, max spreader. So we're going to go and use the first of our pig manure. We would, we have to um, fertilize all the fields. So we'll do a little bit. Well, we'll do maybe a half a pass or so, just at normal speed, and then I'll put it on to onto a time lapse again and uh, you can get to see the the whole operation being done so I think we'll go and start with the, the field just outside the sheds and then we'll just work our way around Get them all fertilized. Once they're fertilized, they'll uh, fertilized. I'll put the roller on, and then we'll pretty much be done with our with our planting for this year or for this season. I suppose it's a year because it'll be in the in the next year. Things moving along quite nicely now, so pretty happy with the way it's going we're going to be in a little bit of a consolidation phase now I would think for the next couple of months during the winter try and get a little bit of money going yeah, that's working well we're putting a double spread on We should be pretty much 100% fertilized once the t once we're finished. That's brilliant. I don't think we'll uh, we'll need to weed the the um, the, few, the the crops that we planted in the in the ex corn field. We've just direct drilled. Cause that'll that'll pulled up some some weeds I would think the other fields that we did um, I don't think will need to be weeded because we we ploughed so yeah good working quite well in any case I'll uh, let you relax and uh, watch this speeded up version of 
the spreading of the muck and then we'll get back to you once that's done enjoy Well, that's just about finished spreading the muck and done. We'll just head back to the shed and we'll go and load up the rollers. Got to get 
all the fields that were planted rolled, um, except of course for the ones that are growing already. Um, shouldn't take too long, but it is getting a bit dark, so I'll just show the start of it and then we'll finish it off camera. Well, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a pretty run-of-the-mill operation, but to give you an idea of the scale of the fields that we have at this point in time. And we've still got some more to do, most probably in the next season. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode and are enjoying this series, please do like and subscribe, it does help me out. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Cheerio!